Hey everyone, it's Linnea with a video for ThermoWeb, and today I'm going to be using one stencil, three ways, uh, one way really, but with three different products. So I'm going to be using some deco foil transfer gel with the Rainbow Shattered Glass deco foil, metallics from deco foil in white pearl, and then Gina K Designs Glitz Glitter Gel in turquoise sea and grass green. So I have one of my favorite new stencils, and this is from Miss Ink Stamps. It is the Circular Harlequin stencil. I love this pattern. I just think it looks so cool. And this is my first time using it, and I, I got it a couple weeks ago, and I just, I needed to use it with these deco foil products. So all I did was I took the stencil, I placed it face down in a box, sprayed it with some pixie spray, and then just kind of let it dry for a couple seconds, and pressed it really well onto my cardstock. I added just a little bit of purple tape on the corners to cover up my cardstock because I'm using the deco foil transfer gel. So anywhere this gel is, it'll get foiled. And I didn't trust myself with my palette knife to not get it on the corners of those cardstock. So here again, we're going to go in on some white cardstock with the Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel. And I'm starting here with the grass green. And I'm just kind of applying it in various areas over the stencil. And my idea here was to use the grass green and the turquoise sea together and kind of create a two-tone look. And it didn't really work. It kind of did, but I went a little heavy-handed with the blue and covered up the green. So I tried to go back in and add a little bit of green, but the damage was pretty much done. So if you try this technique, definitely um, go more half and half than I did. I, I did well with the green, and then I just covered the whole thing up with the blue. And I tried to go back in with green and cover it up, it didn't really work out well, but this is one of my favorite cards that I made today because the green and the blue mixed together. It just didn't turn out how I had expected to in my head. I kind of wanted it to be chunks of green and chunks of the turquoise. And because of the way I mixed them, they just kind of mixed into one um, almost like sea foamy color. It, it looks nice. It just wasn't what I had expected to do in my head. So for my third piece here, I'm working on craft card stock, and you saw here for every card, I'm just kind of moving the stencil around so that I get a different look for each card, but I'm using the same stencil. And this time I'm using the deco foil metallics, and this is the white pearl color. I wanted it to have that pearly white against the craft. I love how white on craft looks. So for my stamping today, I am using the Sweet Stamp Shop Healthy-ish stamp set. This stamp set is so cute. There are so many little sweets um, images and then the sentiment is super cute. I didn't end up using it because I wanted a smaller sentiment for today's cards, but it's so cute. I love it. So what inspired me to create these cards was it's starting, I live in Pennsylvania, and even though it was cold and rainy today, it's starting to get warm, and last Sunday, it was super warm. It was like 75 degrees, and my family went to get ice cream for the first time, and I wait all summer long to have a vanilla cone with rainbow sprinkles. It's the best part of the summer for me is that first ice cream, so I was inspired to make these cards with a bunch of other summery treats. So I'm using primarily um, my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers, but I am throwing in some Copics here. And I messed around with the vanilla coloring quite a bit, and I ended up liking using just the N0 Copic marker around the highlights. That was what I liked the best. So for this, this ended up being my favorite cone, just the vanilla ice cream with just a little bit of shading to create those shadows on the white. And then just, I didn't even do any shading for the sprinkles. I just colored them a flat color. But this is definitely my favorite treat. I think it's so awesome. So my backgrounds are all dry now. You can tell when the deco foil transfer gel is dry because it turns completely clear. And it's not, if you feel the back of your cardstock, it'll be dry. If it still has that like wet, heavy feeling, it's not dry yet. So I've heated up my uh, laminator and I have it set to the five mil setting. And I have parchment paper. This was a tip that I found Sue had shared on one of our, uh, I think it was in Stamp Junkies, actually. It works so much better than computer paper because it's just thinner, so the heat can get to it easier. 
Look at that foil. This is my favorite card. The Rainbow Shattered Glass is my favorite foil. I think I've used it in every video because I'm obsessed with it. I love it. So I colored a whole bunch of images and I have extras actually left over that I'll just keep in my stamp set in the stamp pocket. I picked out some of my favorites and I'm just gonna glue them down with the iCraft Ultra Bond liquid adhesive. I do recommend using a liquid adhesive with these, uh, with the metallics and uh, the Glitz Glitter Gels just because I think it adheres better than a, a paper, like a, a tape runner adhesive. So, but I wanted to pop up the sentiment strip. So I'm using my Gina K Designs foam squares and I'm going to just pop on that sentiment strip and take the backing off, but then I'm going to go in and add a little bit of this iCraft Ultra Bond just to make sure that it adheres. And so that way it has that liquid glue adhering it and really holding it to my cardstock, but it has that lift from the foam squares. Of course, I used my T-square ruler just to make sure everything is straight. I'm just gonna tidy up, trim off a little bit of the edges here, and then these are my three cards. I'm gonna do my best to shine them in my uh, craft desk light so that you can see all the shine on these three different products. I just love the way these cards turned out. Remember, you can head over to the Thermal Web blog to see more still photos, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.